don't know if it was love or fear. <laughs> I believe it was fear on our side. <laughs> Welcome to the 2016 Qualico Open Air Market. Good morning, ladies. Butch Goings unwraps his stone turtle, red stone pipe, and an entire menagerie made of wood. Much of the material is from the Smoky Mountain Forest surrounding Cherokee, North Carolina. Buckeye, this is walnut, and butternut, and these are silver. We're here to perpetuate the culture, the arts and crafts, and you can see lots of generational art in here. Butch Goings is the longtime president of the Koala Arts Co-op Board. He's retired from a lifetime of work and a term on the Tribal Council, but not from carving and community service. I just like to sit back, relax, and go at it. <laughs> Several family members belong to the co-op, and displayed inside is the artistry of his late mother-in-law, Emma Taylor. Good to be Emma Taylor's daughter. I don't think I'll ever fill her shoes. In our family, she really didn't teach us how to make a basket. She didn't say, now it's time for you to learn, just by watching her and, and seeing her work really hard. We call them the Taylor baskets. You can spot their baskets right off because there's generations of the basket makers from those families. We'd always take her mother with us because she knew how to pick out the white oak tree. White oak is one of Louise Going's favorite materials. Due to the extensive gather and prep process, she calls this basket making, not just weaving. By any name, she synthesizes her mother's lessons with practice passed on precision. This workspace is both school and shrine. This is one of the double weaves that she made. She wanted you to make things right. And I had a hard time <laughs> when I was first learning to, to corner the basket. I felt like she might have just wanted me to learn on my own. Louise, you know, she's, a, she's one of our renowned basket makers here in Cherokee uh, because of her style and because of, you know, the, uh, I think of the time and attention that goes into the art. And my daughter is actually training from her now and learning to make baskets. Art runs everywhere in the family. The going son tried carving but ended up preferring basket making. And other grandkids and their spouses have become artists too. On market day, Louise grandson. spends more time selling their art than her own. This is mine. That's mine. I think I'm a maker and a teacher. And I'm about family. For this visit, Louise Goings doesn't bring out her best till the very end. Exquisite, each piece representing weeks of work sits on simple stairs to the porch. That porch is Butch Going's favorite carving place. And it also happens to be the best place to watch nightfall and to just go with the flow. I'm just sitting back. My wife says all you do is sit on the porch now. 